Hello everyone, I'm Levent. Uh, welcome to the first video of the operating system series. Uh, before starting the video, I would like to give you information about the content of the videos. Uh, the videos in the series are not tutorials or lectures, uh, these are just dialogue videos. Uh, in these videos, I will record my operating system as I develop it and share it with you. Uh, you can also contribute to the development of Artillery OS if you wish, or just be a witness of the development process. Uh, today we will do a code review of the improvements made in real mode and maybe later we will write our first protection of code, which is our kernel. Uh, Artillery OS uses its own custom bootloader. Uh, you can use Grub or similar bootloader while developing your operating system. Uh, I wrote my own bootloader because I wanted Artillery OS to be as original as possible. And today we will go over this. So let me explain bootloader.esm. Uh, the org 0x7c00, uh, this sets the origin of the program to address 0x7c00 in memory, which is where bootloaders are typically, typically loaded by BIOS. Uh, start, uh, this is the entry point of the bootloader, it jumps to step 2 label, and step 2 label, uh, this section initializes some important registers uh, and switches the processor into protected mode. GDT, uh, which is Global Descriptive Table. Uh, this section defines the Global Descriptive Table, uh, which is used for managing memory segmentation in protected mode. And Load32, uh, this code segment switches the CPU into 32 bit protected mode and loads the kernel from hard drive using ATA disk IO operations. Uh, ATA LBA read, uh, this function reads the data from the hard drive using low level ATA commands and after that uh, I'm just padding the rest of the disk and let me show you kernel.esm too uh, this directive, uh, this directive uh, tells the assembly to generate a code for 32-bit uh, processor and start, uh, this is the entry point for kernel, it set up data segments, stack and some interrupt controllers uh, after that, uh, this is uh, this one. Uh, this is external function to call represent the main entry point for kernel code. Uh, it's assumed to be defined elsewhere in your code, uh, which is this one. Uh, after that, uh, in all 0x92 uh, and relates instructions, uh, these are instructions to control the programmable interval timer PIT. Uh, which is often used for timer interrupts and after that out 0x20 uh, AL uh, and latest instructions uh, these instructions are configuring uh, uh, A259A I guess interrupt controller setting up the interrupt handlings and after that we call kernel main uh, this calls the kernel main function to start main kernel code and after that we just uh, pad the rest of the hard drive to fit this okay so in summary, uh, bootloader is responsible for loading kernel from a uh, disk and switching the CPU into protected mode, while uh, the kernel steps up the environment and initializes interrupt controllers before executing the main kernel code. And let me show you a real quick demo. Uh, let's let's build the project with build script and let me run it for you in camel so as you can see it's booting from hard disk and nothing will uh, doing else uh, that's all i have to say for today in the next video we will start developing our kernel with c uh, maybe we can add vga features to our kernel and print text on screen uh, that would be nice uh, thank you for watching me have a nice day